anyway, where he had photographs of uh, Gary Cooper, whom he said, I absolutely wrote this part for him, and this part I've written for Ingrid Bergman, and he had other uh, photographs. So I said, but well, somebody has to do something. The part was given to another actress who went up, cut her hair, and went up in the Nevada mountains and started. And I was very, very desperate about that. And Mr. Hemingway was going to China, and he was leaving from San Francisco. So Mr. Selznick suggested I go up and try to get hold of him. I did get hold of Mr. Hemingway, and we met at lunch. And I said, somebody else is playing the part that you want me to play. And he said, you'll get it, you'll get it. And I said, well, do something. You're leaving for China, and what can I do? He said, yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling you'll get it. <laughs> and three weeks after I was called up, and they said, uh, we've changed our plans. We're taking off the actress who is playing it now. And are you willing to cut your hair? And I said, I'm willing to cut my head <laughs> if I can get that part. <laughs> so then I moved it up and played Maria. Were you happy? To Terribly have... happy. It was so beautifully written. You know, you get dialogue sometimes. You have a feeling that you have to elaborate on it. You have to do something to cover up some weaknesses in it. And Hemingway's dialogue was so beautiful that you only had to say it and it was all that. And you liked working with Cooper in it yes. because it was written yes. for him as well. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And he was a, you know, most fantastic star yes. as far as I can say. Yes, they don't come anymore. Was he going well. to work with? Gary Cooper? Yes. yes, he was the most natural actor I've ever worked with. He, he read his dialogue so that you didn't recognize it. You thought he was just talking to you. <laughs> and you said, oh, oh, yes, it's a scene we're playing. A very, very sweet and adorable and very shy person. Was he? Yes, he was very shy, very worried. And I mean, I, I, I think he could, I don't think he would ever be able to do an interview like the one we are doing now. He was so shy that he wouldn't be able to just sit and talk and chat. <laughs> there are some actors who are really and truly great, like him, who are themselves sort of magnified on the mm. screen. Yeah, America liked that very much. I mean, you could see that from Spencer Tracy and Humphrey Bogart and whatever. Humphrey Bogart always used the same raincoat and the same hat. I mean, they didn't have to change. They wanted to buy that ticket and see the same thing. Now, but coming from Sweden, we had a different uh, uh, opinion about that. You go to a dramatic school, you play different parts, and it was for us a challenge to try to change. But America isn't that way. They want to have that personality and over and over the same thing. Sam, I thought I told you never to play. How do you feel about that when you become almost a, an <laughs> object that's practically, not because of age or anything, but because of its signif symbolic significance? You're practically an icon with him in that <laughs> film. You know? It is strange, isn't it? And, and I saw the picture the other day here in London, oh, did you? but I hadn't seen the picture for so long, and it was amazing how good that picture was. To see it again now, the marvelous actors that were in every small part, so I understand that a picture like that has become really, as you say, a cult picture. It's a classic in America, and they do it all over, all, over and over on television, and people have seen it, I don't know how many times. And it's remarkable because when we did it, we had no faith in it in it at all because the script was so bad and it was written day by day there was nothing clear about it and we didn't know where we were going and i didn't know which man i was supposed to really love so they say can't you do the love scenes just little in between don't put, put too much seriousness in it because we really don't know with which man you're going to end up <laughs> and i said but how am i going to do that and they said well you know play it cool and then in the end i said we're going to shoot it both ways Oh. And when we came to the end, the first ending was that I went away with my husband in the plane and flew off, and they said, this is it. We don't have to do the second ending because this is just fine. So to the very end, they didn't know what the picture was going to be. And then cutting it all together with all the difficulties and the arguments and the rewrites, <laughs> here comes this absolutely beautiful movie. The final version of... Um Casablanca, you did go off with yes. Paul Henry. What did you instinctively feel would be the best? Oh, I would have liked to stay with Humphrey Bogart. 